Hello, hello, danger angels. Why is there nothing on the screen? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Fucking sinuses. Okay, so we got auto save here. But we're probably gonna go here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as I was saying, there's a story about how um, uh, this person was going to the same universe. Oh. <laughs> we can wait. I was letting you continue your story. Oh, okay. That's what you meant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, this person's going to the same uh, college that Todd Howard had uh graduated from initially and todd still occasionally uh comes back to that college to give seminars right mm -hmm. well this this fella didn't know that know this is like their first like like their junior year uh at this college and uh they they have this tendency to do the Todd, like blaming Todd Howard for everything joke mm -hmm. with friends. And they ended up doing it in public at this university where they dropped their bag and they said something like, Oh, damn. Good. Uh, oh, damn. Looks like clipping is still on, huh, Todd? Oh, no. Like, still on those lines, right? Mm -hmm. Like just taking the piss at like the constant. Uh, gag online and then he hears an exacerbated are we doing this <laughs> behind him turns around actual Todd Howard is standing behind him oh no <laughs> oh. I, I don't remember anything after that or if, like, if they actually talked about a resolution, it is just like it ends with Todd Howard was actually standing behind me. <laughs> I would laugh if he says, "Oh, don't, don't worry, I'll be fixing the next update." That would been <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> if I was Todd, what I would say is something that tunes of, "Would you prefer that I turn clipping off?" <laughs> Just send your fucking bag through through the ground into the void. <laughs> oh yeah, technically my job has changed. Oh, your job has changed? Well, I'm still working for the same company, but I was kicked out of recovery. You were kicked out of recovery? Is that good or bad? Oh, it kind of sucks. But the reason was, it wasn't because of all the incidents that I've told you guys about. Yeah. It was because I didn't return a, an empty buggy, which holds the film, to a station. That's the reason I was kicked out. Uh... Your head is hurting. I can hear it. <laughs> so what now? Are you like... Uh, now, uh, they're having me pack film, which is lots of physical labor. Uh, so you're no longer in a managerial position? Yep. Still get paid the same. Well, shit. Oh, you still get paid the same? Mm hmm. As of huh. now. Oh, man, man. That's good, I guess. Yeah. I still say that you need to fucking get out of that workplace. Mm. You need to find a, a different place to work because. Not only with just how often shit goes wrong there, as well as the fact that, you know, there's apparently absolutely no 
consideration towards the fact that there is still an active pandemic. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Even though we get a lot of stuff from uh, uh, foreign companies that could carry over viruses and stuff, no one wears masks. Yeah. God. Yeah, you really need to get out of there. Especially now that we know that your immune system is kind of compromised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to go out a lot. Now I just mainly stay home. <laughs> yeah. Which is also why I kind of fear the rain, because you know how my lungs are shot. So if I get pneumonia... Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, uh, Just getting out in the rain generally doesn't give someone pneumonia. Mm -hmm. it, it tends to be like a mixture of factors. Yeah. Like the, like, the reason why... It's like such a common idea that like you catch colds by being out in the rain or getting cold. The reason why that's such a common idea isn't the fact that our bodies literally uh, catch a virus from getting too cold. It's the fact that when it is colder outside, people are more sequestered inside, which thus yeah, spread easier. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know how I watch VTuber news and stuff like that sometimes, right? Yeah. Apparently, someone called this uh, this VTuber called a satire, but it's not satire. They were basically saying how people on mobile phones don't contribute a anything at all to streams. They said those exact words and called that satire. What kind of... <laughs> it's just like a trash joke. It's just like, oh man. These viewers on a specific viewing type don't contribute anything to stream. Yeah, his reasoning that he also stated is because it costs more for bits and subs on the phone. So no one will ever want it to donate to the stream. So, bookworm. <laughs> They're your still thoughts. viewers. Yeah. And they oh. also said that lurking from the phone is worse because they barely will ever speak to you. I'm like, so, bookworm. <laughs> I mean, if they're lurking, they're lurking. <laughs> right. This is so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I like how bookworm's just sitting in the chat hearing all of this. How, how this meme to her would make fun. Uh, we should not incur the wrath of the bit we have. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love all types of lurkers. Well, I don't like bot lurkers. We should put it that. <laughs> We're stalker lurkers. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Taurus. No Torres. Oh, I knew. What What are the voices I was doing for these characters? I think you're doing Albert for the detective, from what I remember. What says oh, Lola? And... Oh, sorry. What the fuck? Yeah. But, um,. Fuck, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, you gave the British voice to the 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 demon quack. Nah, I don't remember. The uh, book says, "Lol." I mean, they have a point. Why I try not to get subs on mobile? Google doesn't need a theory. Well, yeah, but like saying like. It's a difference, like, there's a difference between saying that someone's less likely to actively support the stream if yeah. they're on mobile, 
them just saying mobile viewers don't contribute anything. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, that, they're, and they got blasted uh, with hate from the VTuber community. Oh, and that's why I made a response tweet saying that it was all satire. No one's ah, believing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, let's just take them at their word, okay? Let's just say that they actually were trying to make satire. Yeah. It's really shit satire. <laughs> right. What? Pepe, hey, hey, you guys. Hey. No fighting. <laughs> Pepe. Vestus is obviously not filling up to getting. Stop playing with his tail, you dumbass! <laughs> Do you want to die? <laughs> is that what you want? Because Vestus will kill you. I want this animated. Ah, <laughs> uh, these fucking cats. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, you're I, saying. What the fuck was I saying anyway? It was about the VTuber right. dumbass. Like, even if, like, we take his word of it being satire. Yeah. It's yeah. Still, like, like, not good satire. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, like just me saying just penis for a joke. I dare say that it is more complex than that shit. <laughs> uh, let me just let me just double check. Let me make sure that I'm remembered. The use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices. Yeah. So you see, that's the thing. If they're trying to do satire, you would think that there would actually be a fucking uh, uh, brain, 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 brain. Yeah. You would think that there would actually be a target. Yeah. Yeah, like, someone actually brought up a point. Like, uh, you want to know what's good satire? Kind of suba. Yours is not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... that's... That's a good way to put it. Konosuba <laughs> is really good satire of Isekai. Yeah. It's just like every, like almost every character is an unimaginably awful person. <laughs> and our audience stand in is an unbelievably massive piece of shit. Yeah. Like our two main characters, awful people. And, like, the humor comes from watching primarily these two awful people constantly fail at everything. Yeah, there's actually yeah. something I've been seeing on YouTube. Like, is it... Or, uh, it like, in the sh anime, is it, like, being confirmed that they... That, the uh, uh... I forgot the guy's name, but I know Megamine. Like, I see, like, a ton of close of them being, like way too, too close with one another like almost romantic like I mean fuck if I know right <laughs> like there's so many like you gotta keep in mind like 50% of what I've I see of yeah on a <laughs> and it's like I know Megamine is one of the most popular characters to make hentai of. I have no fucking clue. Fair. It's been Fair. forever since I watched the show. Anyways. I know that there has been, like, a few moments that are kind of like, I could see how that could be deemed shipping. Yeah. Because I saw it seem like both of them were barely wearing anything, and they slept in together in the same room. Oh, yeah, that was, um... <laughs> yeah. In the... Yeah. Where uh, Kazuma is staying over at Megamine's old house, and they end up sharing a futon. Yeah. So it's kind of meh. Yeah. You could call that somewhat shipping stuff. 
Wait, wait. Isn't there like a confirmed scene that they like all the all the three girls have seen his penis because they called it Excalibur? I mean, I imagine so. That, that <laughs> absolutely. That sounds like something that would have been done. Yeah, I remember seeing that scene. Like they 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 like I think stripey or ink or something on his belly <laughs> pointed downwards arrow Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 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 sounds very familiar. Yeah. Also, I just noticed your character in this. Yeah. Their torso is like sliding off of their lower hips. <laughs> I'm a like, zombie. Look at that. Deal with it. <laughs> but, like there, there's just like a jagged cutoff. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. Let's let's continue forward. Yeah. Nowhere to go but through. I need to rewatch Kano Suva. Okay. Oh, what the? The closet? The heck is going on? Oh my God, it's even worse. <laughs> uh, uh, why? <laughs> Soon my body just gonna be off. My torso is gonna be off my body. Ah. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and I, I remember the voice that I do for Torres. Alex? Alex, can you hear me? Torres? Had me worried there for a sec. Can I make radio contact? Something is seriously wrong. It sounds crazy, but one minute I'm standing in a closet. I turn around for just a moment, and suddenly, I'm in an infinite void. An infinite void? It looks how it sounds, and I do not want to go back. <laughs> it's got to be another trick. This man, 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 this man, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine she actually says that. <laughs> she does a fucking stroke. Yeah. This mansion is rigged with puzzle and maybe? No, not this time. We've seen some weird shit. I mean, a flesh wall for crying out loud. This was real. Ed, we've got enough on our plate as it is. If you say it's saw it, fine, sure. The infinite void of space is just one issue of an ever-growing web. Yeah, okay, fine. Were you able to at least get anything from the closet? I did find an appointment card for the clinic. It was behind all the blast doors. You think that'll be useful? I just went to hell and back. I'll find a way to make it work. <laughs> 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 yeah, there, there's one thing I find funny in puzzle games. You know those ones where you have to press a bunch of buttons to get them all to grow green? Yeah. I usually finish those fast and I'm just pressing random buttons. I'm not even paying attention to the green shit. I just press I mean, random honestly, shit. Honestly, those types of puzzles tend to be some of the easiest to Yeah. Yeah, another puzzle I'm not really good at that I I haven't really seen in horror games is Hornet Plane puzzles. Oh, I vaguely remember what those are. Yeah. You mean like the the ones that are in Iron Lung before you immediately crash into a wall? Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was doing with that, but once I realized it, I actually wanted to hit myself for not realizing. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. But, anyway. 
Oh, go ahead. Yeah, there was one time where there was this like big puzzle that we had to have like I think it was like fifteen papers put together, a cornet plain puzzle. It was mm -hmm. supposed to take like four hours, which was like the whole class. Everyone mm -hmm. was still working on it. I finished it in forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um. The teacher didn't know what it was. They she immediately stopped it when she found out what it was. It was a depiction of Adam and Eve, but you had to draw certain things. <laughs> what the? Like there was no clothes. Well, yeah, I know, but it's... why would your <laughs> teacher? <laughs> A puzzle like that. I don't know. Not uh, double. Why does that exist? I don't know. <laughs> but once I saw I was drawing a penis, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> what is there? Why is there penis pictures in my school? <laughs> I mean, I got extra credit for finish, being the only person who finished it. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Congratulations. You got extra credit for being the only one who could draw. <laughs> I just like do it like on my next job. Like, yeah, in high school, I was able to uh, get extra credit for drawing a penis. <laughs> I'm starting to, I think I'm starting to piece together where you got the one joke from. <laughs> So, what do I do with my, uh, do it, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do I do with this appointment card? I guess, I just. This is stupid. I refuse to be a party to. <laughs> the second I go to grab it. <laughs> Whoa. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay, so we obviously got doctor puzzles now. Okay, I like this room. Okay, now I'm not sure if I like this room. <laughs> that needs to be clear. <laughs> yeah, we just look we over to here. Just open a door and we both bust out laughing. Yeah. Look out to the skeleton. Oh, my head. Jars. Jars filled with body parts. These have to be fake, right? I'm choosing to believe they're fake. Hands and intestines. Are those preserved heads? Yeah, do you also like hear, hear people who call intestines intestines? Because I've he heard people call them that. Intestines! <laughs> yeah. Literally the first time I've heard that was from... Uh... That iCarly episode where Fred shows up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because at one point in their fake Fred video, uh, Fred says something's like, What if this, what if these noodles were Kevin's intestines? <laughs> Some people pronounce it like that. It's, it's whatever. I think, I think Fred's fang died. You think Fred's fame died? Yeah. You you think you think that Fred, the YouTuber, mm -hmm. who sold his channel to some soulless company because he was getting no more views. Oh. You think his fame died? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Lucas Kruishank is still, like, uh, doing stuff, and I think he... Hmm? 
focus on TikTok. But yeah, no, Fred, like, like the Fred YouTube channel, like after the Nickelodeon era, just basically completely died out. Yeah, he also did have a show on Nickelodeon. Um, it was uh Marvin <laughs> Marvin, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It was weird it, as fuck. <laughs> it was based like that's the thing is like the the problem with that show is the fact that it was basically just uh what if we made Fred an alien and gave him different clothes and did make his voice high pitched. Yeah, like that's <laughs> it. That's all it is. Yeah. When it's like Luke Lucas is like a I want to say a halfway decent actor. He should have been given a different role yeah. for that. The execs are just so hyper fixated on him being the stupid non sequitur bullshit machine. I mean, I enjoyed the Fred movies. I thought they were pretty funny. The first, yeah, like the first Fred movie was pretty decent. The second one was mid, and the third one, it was. <sighs> It was, it was honestly bar <laughs> it was barely a movie because yeah. it was basically just like like it was structured like you would expect there to be two of the Fred TV show episodes merged together. Yeah. Because it came out in the middle of the Fred TV shows uh one and only season. Yeah. So it was it was less of a movie and more of a sitcom TV show special. With like extra time added. Yeah. Anyways. I have got to stop looking closely at things I don't need to. Look closely at that severed baby head, Bright. Do it. Oh. It's an empty jar labeled brain. I haven't seen one of those lying around. <laughs> I don't know why, but I started thinking that, yeah, that I don't have one when I was reading that. Yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> oh. And I'm hoping I can keep saying that. What the fuck is this? Uh, what? Why is one of the jars broken on the ground with eyes on the ground? Oh yeah. Medical journals. Most of them are very old. This one mentions bouncing the four humors. A lot of stuff about bile and uh, p. It's <laughs> word. Lem. <laughs> Clem, all right. Probably not a good idea to rely on these for first aid. Not unless you're big on leeches. Ah. Oh, we do have to examine this. Fallen jar. I definitely need to avoid slipping on these. That would be a humiliating way to hurt myself. I definitely have to lie. Tell Taurus it was an elaborate trap I narrowly avoided or something. <laughs> why, why are you spending time, like, thinking about the logistics of what you would have to do if you slipped on the eyeball? I don't know. Well, oh, yeah. I forgot to ask, how long were you planning to stream? Probably until two. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, wow, I've never actually seen one of these in person. Fully articulated in everything. Kind of like a giant action figure. <laughs> this wouldn't be a real skeleton, right? Can't people donate their actual skeletons so they can do this? Oh yeah, that's that's 100% a thing. Also, I was going to say... um. There for a second, I thought that the torso was already flipped, like, turned around. So uh, it was, like, back. Right. I don't think it is. Anyway, 
it, it seems that for the puzzle, we're going to end up having to uh, uh, articulate the skeleton. Yeah. I have a feeling it also has to deal with this, too. For another... Like, the pain yeah, scale. <laughs> I like the faces. Where goes like, happy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. I saw more recently a thing about how, like, it's become increasingly common for modern doctors to uh, criticize the pain scale of, like, 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. Primarily because there's just so much variance in how different people feel pain. Right. So, I have lungs now. Model lungs. And a lip. It's a model liver, and it's right next to a large red button. Very subtle. Yeah, let's press the button. Uh, Why do I immediately think those were cakes? <laughs> I thought they were too. Oh, you did too? I thought they were thinking that they were rotten cakes. <laughs> We had the same mindset. <laughs> they look like cakes. Maybe I'm just hungry. Oh wait, I just, re I just... realized something. Hmm? Uh, now since um, I'm no longer above 500, I don't have to do the the bird thing now. Like that model. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <clears throat> you should still do it. No. <laughs> get, get the bird costume bright. Yeah, it'll only be a costume. It won't be, like, a new model entirely, because that takes a lot. Well, yeah, like, the idea was... I, I, I figured the idea was, like, get, like, one of those PNG tuber things. Yeah. So, like, when you put on the bird costume, it just switches over to... A model that occasionally switches between like two or three different PNGs. Yeah. Time to bring them back. Yeah, bring back the bots just so that we can be above 500. <laughs> Twitch, I do not agree with these two people. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't want that either. <laughs> I, I I would prefer Bright Spain to be. Well. Legitimate, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this anatomy model is missing its organs. Lucky for you, you've got I've got some. Don't worry, but be as be good as new in no time. I started thinking when I said when I said that. Don't. Lucky for you, I've got some, and I just plunge my head in my own my hand in my own body and rip out my own organs. <laughs> nah, what that makes me think of is my science classroom had one of these things, mm -hmm. and my close friend Vernie and I would commonly dip back towards that, and it was like towards the end of class, right, and, and we're kind of just waiting around for the bell to ring, and uh, at the time, we were really obsessed with 21 Pilots, right? And I think it's on their first album, their self-titled album. Album, but there's a song that includes, like, the statement, uh, "When you got in your car, you reached in the back and buckled up my heart <laughs> for you to drive away with." And what I ended up doing is I started singing that as I slowly took the heart out of the mannequin and put it into Bernie's backpack. <laughs> <laughs> and then we both crack up laughing. Yeah. Um, a funny thing about this, <laughs> another thing, uh, I wasn't in the class at the time because it was like, I think I was in my junior year. There was a senior prank where someone went and where seniors went into all the science classroom that had these 
and took all the organs and Gorilla glued them to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> the only way that the only way that could be better is if they like added fake blood stain <laughs> yeah. just make it look like some unbelievably macabre uh murder scene yeah the reason why i noticed that is because like halfway through my senior year i i was i was finished my work and i was just bored i decided to look up and the organs were still there <laughs> They they just didn't remove them. <laughs> like, well, okay, we've got you got mannequin organs on on the ceiling now. That's good. Yeah, though apparently the senior prank, I didn't do it because it was fucking stupid. Yeah. Was that uh, they just didn't go to school for a week? That that was apparently the prank. I was like, that is probably by far the shittiest senior prank. What what <laughs> kind of prank is that? It's like, oh, we're gonna prank our teachers by giving them less work, right? <laughs> and getting truly on our records. Hell yeah, that's such a good prank, bro. Yeah. No, like if you're gonna if you're gonna pull some kind of student prank it needs to be something entertaining like i remember um one of the senior pranks at uh at my school yeah uh was like um i think i was in the third grade mm -hmm. and i heard about the fact that uh a very beloved principal was going to be leaving so a senior prank was the entire senior class, with some help from a couple of the other lower high school classes, just baked his entire office walls in, like, praising goodbye messages on Aww. sticky meat. But it was, like, the, like, everything in the room was covered in them. Like, absolutely everything was covered in sticky notes. Oh yeah. You know how <laughs> true book. Anyway, so I decided to do my own senior prank. And uh you know how I told you I had terrible art teachers in the past? Yeah. So I went to the art teacher's room. Apparently they were out for the day and there was no sub substitute teacher, which is weird. Yeah. So no one was going to class when they were all in the cafeteria and everything. I was in there. I took one of these dummies, got Gorilla Glue and some rope, tied it to the ceiling, and splattered the room with red paint. <laughs> and I got more of these too. It was like, I think either five or six of these hanging from the ceilings, the organs were thrown on the ground, and red paint was everywhere. And I just left. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a senior prank. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. I think there needs to be like a differentiation between like harmless fun senior prank, yeah. like really good, somewhat inconveniencing senior prank, and an act of malicious vandalism. <laughs> I mean, they deserved it. I mean, fair. <laughs> Let's see. Book says Lamau sweet and also making him glad to leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So we got a stomach, a liver, two lungs, a heart. We need to find a heart. Did you have to piece that together? I think so. He's in a closet. Now I know where they are coming from. <laughs> Oh, gods. So, I don't think we know what to do with these dials yet, so we probably shouldn't mess with that. Well, I mean, there's, like, red marks. They're all in the like, same parts, um, though. Well, yeah, but, like, there's red marks on those things. 
Okay, so it's one. Oh. <laughs> Don't look your way. Frankly. Hey, look, there's your heart. I just fucked around with it and I really got it. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty easy puzzle, to be fair. Unlike that last, like, concentric rings <laughs> bullshit. Oh, God. Ah! You've got the brain. <laughs> I now have a brain. And there's a jar for uh... the brain. Oh. Uh... Ske Skellyman has made his ex- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can just oh. not laugh at this. Even if it's trying to be scary. It was just- <laughs> It was exposed. <laughs> it's like SCP-650. Like, it tries to be scary, but it's just hilarious to look at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, isn't that the, uh, Roman? Uh, no, it's a startling statue. You know, the one, that's like, 173. Oh, yeah, that thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt you, it just teleports behind you and tries to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. brain. Place the brain in a jar. Oh, hello. <laughs> I like how the character's scared, but we're just laughing at it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a guy. Yeah. Doesn't have a skull. Yeah. I have a feeling we're supposed to find a skull. <laughs> Probably. Holy. What is it with this place and things popping up behind me? One freak show at a time. Brain first, then skeleton. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Found the skeleton. <laughs> you mean the skull? The skull, yeah. Well, this says fine skeleton. Got it. <laughs> Well, I think that's like talking to the skeleton. Alright, there here we go. Skeleton and skull together again. Now hopefully it stops following me around. Well now I think you can try Yeah, so now try adjusting the skeleton to match the things on the pictures. Okay, so we got... I'm assuming it's looking at... I can't tell which one it's looking at. It's either this one or this one. I would say try the one on the right first. Well, I can't... I can't this extend it out really... like that. Well, I think the extended out one would be the the other arm. Ah. See, it's like that. Oops, wrong way. I'm assuming it's this like thing, that. This thing is really opposable. And it should be like that. That looks good. Looks I got a kick out of the knee. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's the other one. The other one. <laughs> can, you, can you turn the skull? Oh, that's it. Uh, then maybe we need to, like, figure it so that it's, like, like, the exact image aiming towards us. So like, uh, turn turn the midsection so that it's leaning the other direction. Kick out the other leg. Nope. <laughs> mm. I have a feeling we have to do this one first. 
Wait, no, it doesn't make sense because then it's not sitting down. Yeah, so we have to do that one. Because that one's standing. And so, uh, maybe... Uh, I guess try bending the, uh, upward arm. That's not bending. Wait, yeah, now try turning it. Like, turn the whole arm. Like, what the... Right, what are you doing? I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Um, thanks, I guess? I'm not even going to question this. Wait, it's copying this, because look. Oh yeah, it's the same image, just turned. Yeah, uh... Same position. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Hello? Ruth. Uh, what, what voice should Ruth have? A doctor voiced. Hello, Dr. Robotnik. It's <laughs> sir. I don't... It's like Danny DeVito. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Help me. I just started imagining Danny the Vito as a doctor. <laughs> My name's Dr. DeVito. <laughs> I come in and I throw trash all over all over the ring. And then I start <laughs> eating garbage. I think my favorite <laughs> Danny DeVito moment was when he dropped the, his magnum cocktail and announced it for everyone to hear. <laughs> What? Yeah, there was a scene, I don't know from what movie or something like that, where he he he, he picks up his condom, condom and says, This this is my magnum condom for my magnum dog. <laughs> he says that and I quote. Hold <laughs> on, I'm gonna look this up. I, I don't know where it's from, but I remember it. Magnum, condom, Danny, busy. Okay, it's from Sunny and Phil. It, it's from uh, Always Sunny. So that that sounds right. Uh, I never watched that. Yeah, it's it's also where the thing that I referenced came from. Uh. <laughs> it's, it's a really popular Thai sitcom. Uh, anyway. And apparently it's not Magnum Condom, it's Monster Condom. Oh, Monster Condom. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> the, the exact thing is, oh, uh, uh, oh, whoops, oh. I dropped my Monster Condom. That I use for my Magnum Dawn. <laughs> and I think this is like, I based upon the scene, I I think it's implied that he's trying to fucking pick up this tall lady next to him, and that's how he's doing it. <laughs> Which is perfect. <laughs> and she immediately says, "I'm out of here. Good." <laughs> yeah. Question, Bright. Do you know? Uh, do you know what a anti-sitcom is? No. Basically a sitcom where uh, the characters are meant to be bad people. Oh. Like, the narrative is specifically centering around these people being bad and then having issues because they are bad people. Right. So, ironically enough, it's it's the sitcom equivalent of Konosuba. <laughs> Seinfeld, Seinfeld was one. Yeah. <laughs> that sort of shit. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to send it to you too, Hatchet. But um, remember what I told you earlier about the YouTube thing? Um, <laughs> where they tried, where they tried to bot my YouTube channel, but immediate failure. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see the s statistics. <laughs> where... <laughs> it's just like. Zero, zero, still zero. <laughs> like over all, like over the majority of September, and then lightning bolts. Bookworm, what the fuck was that? I just hear all of a sudden, what's that? <laughs> I'm guessing there's a fucking Danny DeVito thingamajig. There has to be, like on. Ghostface saying what's up, I guess. Oh, okay. I need to be okay. Yeah. I, I, anyway. I still find it funny how YouTube immediately went, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, YouTube's better at picking up on this shit than fucking. Which, which is which is really bad because they're they're good at p detecting bots, but not channels they should get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Oh my god! No! 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 no. <laughs> Poison. Need the antidote. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Taurus. Taurus. Alex, what's going on? There there's a woman here. She's been poisoned. I I, I think she was trying to fix it, but she passed out. Now this, this is me, Danny DeVito. Poison? Oh, whoops, That's... I dropped my monster condom for my magnum dung. Please love me. <laughs> what? Look, we're playing the Danny DeVito voice. Uh. This is, this is my, my master condom for my magnum dong. Then says, please love me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that was just funny. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, like, it, it's oh. literally an interruption. It's that, no, this. Oh. This look looks right, so. God, there's some. something oozing out of her mouth and nose. It's rabies. I doubt that. <laughs> what do I do? Alex. Alex Staub. Watch, Taurus is probably going to say just let her die. Yeah. Remember, everything in this God's Forsaken house is a puzzle. There is an answer. You can work it out. Right, yeah. Where are you? What do you see? Oh, I see a poster synthesized antidote from blood. Yeah. I'm I'm in some kind of nightmare surgery room. There's tools and equipment everywhere. Everything is covered in grime. It's disgusting. Okay, Alex. If she's poisoned, you're going to need... No shit. We know that already. <laughs> yeah, we know that. You're gonna need an antidote. Alright, time for transgender surgery, then antidote. What? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Don't worry about it's it. It's not even at all relevant. 
<laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, whatever. Move on. I don't think this person consented to that as a book. <laughs> oh, I was interpreting as Bright saying she's just going to do it to herself. Oh, no, I was going to do it to this person. Oh, yeah, then that's hyper unethical. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me of a f I'm going to say it right right after all the talking, but something a absolutely stupid someone did in Florida that just, I, I believe it was in Florida, Florida, that was really fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyways. What? I'm not a scientist. I don't know any anything about any of this. Bite your gut at figuring out these rooms. Work with what you have. I'm sure all the information there. But I remember you, you can have everyone. Bookworm, <laughs> so. Someone doing something stupid in Florida? And other news, the Earth orbits the sun. <laughs> Taurus, hello. Static. God damn it. Okay, Alex, you can do this. Uh, I'm gonna do something that I saw someone mention as like a funny thing to do. I'm going to go to Google. I'm okay. going... Florida man. Oh yeah. Florida man, and then my birthday. I don't know how long she'll last. I gotta work fast. Uh, let's see news. The first thing that came up. Uh. <laughs> what? The first one that came up. It's Florida man accused of stabbing woman over underdone potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So this thing that happened in Florida of this woman. Uh, I think it was like 50, uh, in her 50s. I forgot what actual age. But she goes to a police station with her gun and tries to shoot through a bulletproof glass at the cops. Yeah, that's that's a good way to not get shot. And after firing three times, she puts her gun down on a bench, then walks over to the door where the cops are waiting. She doesn't take her weapon with her. Okay. Yeah, she was arrested. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, that's a good way to get shot and killed. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, South Florida man claims voodoo caused him to. Oh, I'm not reading that. Oh, no. Uh, impregnate minor. Oh, dear God. Uh, Florida man arrested after officer mistakes Krispy Kreme donut case delays for meth. <laughs> Florida man who went viral for mugshot arrested again on stalking charge. <laughs> okay, Bright. Get, uh, yeah. What's what's your birthday if you're willing to share it? April 12, 2000. Well, you don't need to add the year. Anyways. Let's see yeah. Mike's birthday. Uh, so uh, okay. uh, Florida man falls from tree and run from police is the first thing. What the? Oh, Jesus. I have to choose which section should I read. What, what should I focus on? Arrhythmia Rith or dermatology? <laughs> I don't know what... Oh, wait. Arrhythmia? Yeah. Do arrhythmia. Some details about heartbeats. If it's a regular, you want to you want to use the binder element kappa. Okay, you gotta remember kappa. 
there's a thing that's nothing useful here. It's gonna be a better opera, which I'm not. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Naked, greased up Florida man accused of breaking into two homes, jumping in pool. Bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Wilgram says, mine is Florida man jumps into crocodile pit, gets bit, and claims he was held captive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, these look important. I'll grab the ones that ha have any of their contents left. Oh, I got Kappa. That's actually one of the things we needed. I love Kappa. They eat your liver. Is that actually true to the to the myth? Yeah, they they'll drag you down, drown you, and steal your liver. Mix the necessary chemicals here. Well, okay, we should not do that yet. <laughs> right here. Here, look at the thing on the on the wall. Okay, so. Antidote from original poison. We got snake, plant, and condom. Okay. <laughs> You're just not going to say anything about that. Whatever. It's about how blood is a universal binder. I'm not sure what a binder is, but this could be useful. Well, it's what trans it's what trans men use to have an affirming chest shape. I was just about to fucking say that. <laughs> ah, we had the I same beat you to it. mindset again. <laughs> I can separate fluids here. Well, not yet. We don't display connected to the centrifuge. I think it'll show separation results if I use it. Needles. Oh! We can... She's not looking so good. I have to make an antidote. There's gotta be something I need to use around here. Use an inventory item. So take some of her blood. See, I'm gonna need a blood sample. I donated blood before. I'm sure I can figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First, I roll up her sleeve. <laughs> okay, uh, the... that does not look right. It's what? some kind of rash. I'm pretty sure green glowing veins is not a fucking rash. <laughs> what the fuck? Almost looks great. That is green. Almost, almost, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. One thing at a time. First, the blood. I'll keep the rash in mind, though. It's not a rash. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, Bright, give me a random date. I'm not going to say the first date I thought of. I'm guessing you first thought of September 11th. Yes, because I was... I, cause, other, than, other than September 11th. Because there was... um, there, Apparently, um, there was a game called DSEX or whatever that actually predicted 9-11 a year before it happened. And I watched I mean, a yeah, video was, about it. There was, like, multiple games that uh, ended up having, like, the twin towers not in the background on yeah. New York because most of the time it was just because of hardware restraints. Yeah. But yeah. But like, it 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 did say in that game though that the reason why the twin towers are gone was because of terrorism. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fucking fucked up how accurate it was. Yeah. But, uh, okay, since Bright's a dud, hey, yeah, book, give yeah. me a random date. <laughs> anyway, okay, that was not as easy as they make it look, but this should be enough. Oh, no, book says, oh, the first 9-11 Florida man is just bad. 
Oh no. Let's see. Um, oh, so it's April 20th. Centrifuge for port. Separation 1 plasma, 2 leukocytes and platelets, 3 erythrocytes, 4 heavy element. Okay, well, th th thanks. Thanks. Heavy element? That's not right at all. It, it, thanks, computer. It, you could have at least told me what the fuck the heavy element is. <laughs> heavy element is lead. Oh, my consent. But, so, April 20th. Florida man accused of choking trying to rip woman's bathing suit off at the beach. Okay. Uh, man accused of shooting three, including six-year-old, turns himself into the Florida authorities. That's not even a Florida man. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I I'm gonna save, but I'm gonna try something. All right. Let's see what's gonna happen. They just might work as an as the antidote. No fancy mixing required. <laughs> Inject chemical. Fingers crossed. I hope I've got this right. And she dies. <laughs> okay, okay. This is right. She should wake up, throw up, and be fine. Here we go. That... It looks like I just stabbed her instead of actually injecting it. Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That was not the antidote. <laughs> oh, you're a failure. You committed homicide. Oh, well, whoops. That was like saying my name in your back. So, yeah, so I guess the game can continue without that person being alive. Yeah, well, I'm still going to go back and try and save them. Yeah. Do you want to read through this dialogue? Yeah, we'll skip it, because we're going to go back anyways. <laughs> well, we, I mean, okay. Yeah. My gosh, there is so much dialogue. Horrible science failed to save Ruth as an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Give me another random date. Uh, six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Okay. What is the sixth month? Is that June? Oh, wait, we should look at dermatology because there's things showing up on the skin. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, skin rashes are a great sign of telling how a person is reacting. Red and rashy is something irrelevant. And almost green color is bad. The tau element must be administered alongside a binding catalyst. Or a tie element with a catalyst. Let's see, so you said June 25th? Yeah. It's necessary chemicals here. Okay, the first one's just sad. Florida man stepson die after hiking at Texas National Park in sizzling tents. Is that basically anything else? No. Let's see what I get. I combined all three chemicals. Antidote question mark added to an inventory. <laughs> like, 
I'm not seeing anything on like how to make a tie element. Antidote from Whoa. original poison. Oh wait. Synthesize antidote from blood. Blood equals universal binder. Oh, maybe I need to combine it with blood. Yeah. Florida chemistry student caught on camera injecting opioid chemical agent under neighbor's door. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man arrested for domestic assault with a slice of pizza. <laughs> he, he, beat, he beat his family with a pizza. Wow. Okay. okay. So we have to... Okay, so we know... Okay, so for dermatology, it said the tau element must be administered alongside a binding catalyst. I'm assuming the catalyst would be like the blood. Yeah. But we need to find out what the tau element is. It's not on that table? No. The only chemicals we got is alpha, the red chemical, kappa, the yellow chemical, and phi, the orange chemical. Hmm. Okay, uh... And you've checked all along the entire shelf? Yeah, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. We can look at the back? Oh, wait. It just shows the same thing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> look it around! Yeah, it just says a all the things like just a bunch of chemicals out all out of date. There's like nothing else. Mm. We don't know what the tau element. Well, we at least know what we have for what we need. Huh? Uh. Read the uh, thing that was like the um the combination combination centrifuge report yeah. separation one plasma two leukocytes and platelets erythrocytes and four heavy element wait oh wait we can put the chemicals in here and and have it be separated and see if it has tau. I can separate fluids here. Yes. This doesn't need to go through the centrifuge. I don't. I don't think it'll split into anything. Oh come on! That's some. Oh wait. Oh. Fee went in. Fee. Centrifuge report. One alpha element. Two kappa element. I've already got those, but it's good to know I can extract more this way. What well, I was okay, useless. Then... <laughs> Wait, what's in that green jar? That's where you go to mix up the mix up the stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Oh. And you can't just put kappa in there, can you? I'll try. Yeah, but... Nope! Fuck. So it's probably because these can go in there. So it looks like Phi is the combination of these oh. two. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? It's a... Phi is orange in color, which is a combination of red and yellow. Right. So they're literally just color coded. Oh. Because if you combine red and yellow, you get orange. So, so we need to find out what color tau is, or something like that. Let's see. So, green is yellow and blue, if I remember correctly. Right. 
What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe go look out in the other room? It's locked. <laughs> uh <-huh>. No. <laughs> Check the shelves. Uh, the shelf M. Oh, shelf M. Oh, scrap. Wait, scraps. These scraps were. Were they caused by the shelf? Maybe I should take another look, see if I can move move it. Scrapes! Scrapes. Oh, based on the scrapes next to the shelf, I think it's been moved recently. Kind of heavy, but I think I can move it out of the way. Okay, here goes. Mint <laughs> a question mark. <laughs> Whoa, did someone manage to break out? This does not look in intentional. They just covered it up. Oh my god, it's my dead Is body. That... Okay. Dead person examine. <laughs> oh, oh god, no. What happened? They must have had some had the same poison trap. Looks like they were trying to escape, but didn't make it. There's a note. Scribble note added to inventory. It's hard to read, but there's something about fucking up. They used the last of the blue chemical. There's a synthesized antidote and a syringe gun. It hadn't been used. But if it was correct, why would they not take it? Oh, now we got this. I can definitely use this, though. This body looks like... No, no. I can't think about that right now. I'm seeing things. Okay, so is this towel down here? An antidote that I found doesn't look like they had time to use it. I'll try separating it. Yeah. Separate fluids here, yes. Aha! Such a huge report. Leech. One kappa element, two tau element. Yep. Okay. So now, now, now we just need the blood and combine this, right? I think we need not the blue tau chemical. I think what you need is blood, the tau chemical, and the uh, kappa chemical. Got it. All right. Now I have the tau chemical. Ah! Okay. Something's in the I'll have to get rid of my current one. Yeah, because I could just combine the top three. <laughs> Antidote? Question mark? <laughs> I need at least one more element. Let's stay first. Okay, I can stop there. Do I need Wait, th Right, that was the old antidote. Oh, wait, no. Oh, you dipshit. Well, I can keep creating more antidotes. I just don't... Yeah, I can probably... I probably should yeah, save. Yeah, save first. Uh. Is that a new one? Yes. Uh, Alright, so first, blood. Tau. Tau. And you said add kappa. Yeah, I think you need kappa as well. Okay, I can stop there. Do we need to add anything else? No. Alright, well. If she... Antidote? Yeah, antidote. She's not looking so good. I have to make the antidote. There's gotta be something to use right here. Well, we'll see if Hedge is correct. My antidote. If I mix this right, she'll be fine in no time. If it's wrong, it can't be wrong. That's not an option. <laughs> That's not an option. Inject her with the with the with the fluids. Fingers crossed. I hope I've got this right. Okay. Let's see, Hatchet. Let's see if you're correct. 
Okay, okay, this is right. She should wake up, throw up, and be fine. Here we go. Again, it just looks like I'm just stabbing her with a needle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And she's dead. <laughs> I'm guessing it was just the blue chemical in the blood. <laughs> oh no, that's not right. Like shit. Like, because it just said the tau ain't a, a element in the catalyst. Yeah, but there's also the the other issue, like the arrhythmia. Unless that's just a red herring. I mean, it might be. Well, I guess we try again. This is why we save. Still don't want to read through this? We're missing content. Trial by error, says Book. Trial by error is a perfectly valid way to deal with medicine. Yeah. Alright, Bookworm, give me a date. Yes. Alright. So, blood. Okay, one more element. How? The blue chemical. Okay, I can stop there. Do I need to add anything else? No. October 31st. Halloween, like that. Uh. My antidote. If I've mixed this right, she should be fine in no time. Yep. Alright. I believe in the power of our antidote. Legally blind Florida man arrested when Kane is confused for a gun. Oh no. Oh, no. Florida man arrested for armed robbery steals Oreos and soda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see if I'm correct. And no. Then <laughs> we were both wrong. <laughs> What are we doing from? Right. I guess let's go back to the go back to the drawing board. You still don't want to read this out? Yeah. As Why? Because fuck you. Jeez. We're missing content. Oh well. Florida man arrested after allegedly selling LSD to 11 year old. <laughs> Watch as Florida man hits woman with his groin in Target. No, uh, Bookhorn, I'd rather we figure out what the answer is. Bookhorn already knows the answer. Oh, we didn't even look at the note. It's all written over itself. I can make out that they used the last of the chemical tiles. Something about too many attempts. They were too late. I can barely, I can barely understand. It looks like the variety of chemical combinations are crossed out. At the bottom, the alpha symbol is circled repeatedly. Oh my god. We don't use kappa or phi. We use alpha with the blue tau. If we just looked at the goddamn note. Uh, I'm blaming you for that one. You're the one playing the game. Alright. Feels my life free. Fuck you. Okay, so we need the blood. A Florida man was mauled by a leopard after paying $150 yeah, yes. for a full yes. contact experience. <laughs> blood. Uh, at the towel. Anything else? No. 
Florida man gets stuck after climbing down 30 foot well for bragging rights. <laughs> Don't worry, lady. I'm a licensed doctor. <laughs> By Hollywood State of Medicine. <laughs> what? That's a Simpsons joke. Oh. It's Dr. Ned said he got <laughs> got his medical degree from the Hollywood State of Medicine. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> We're like getting eggs, doctor, and not the medical kind. Alright, let's see if she dies again. My name is Dr. Doctor. Why should we, like, just be a kill count about how many times we just kill this poor person? We're at three right now. Yeah. Book says no. Good job. There we yeah. go. Oh, thank God. I've never been so happy to see so much vomit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. What voice did, did I give her? Dana DeVito. Oh, yeah. Don't slash me. Ugh. Uh. Oh. 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 Ow. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> just imagine just suffering in the background. It's just pain sound. Yeah, just me in silence. <laughs> My stomach. Wait, that's not that is not the correct voice. <laughs> Fresh man. My stomach. My head. I don't know which is worse. Ha. Huh. You, you saved me. Excuse me. <laughs> thank you, thank you so, so much. I am so glad you're not dead. Just take it slow, okay? You know what, fuck it, I'm, I'm doing Albert. <laughs> Albert for Ruth. <laughs> You've been through yeah. a lot, and... Oh, wow. My hands won't stop shaking. <laughs> Okay, this will come as a shock to you, but you've been... <laughs> Wait, no, I'll do... I'll do a different Russian voice. Good enough? I know. You know? I thought that the bull couldn't speak, but I was aware. I woke up on this table with a voice over the speakers told me. Huh. It said there was only one way out. Told me that I'd been dosed with. What I'd been dosed with. Thank God you knew to use my blood as a binder, or... That's ugh. That makes my skin crawl. That also starts like how, how she got connected. Starts to sound a little, little bit like Saw. <laughs> He stole but Russia and medicine. <laughs> Wait, how did you know what to do? Are you like a scientist? <laughs> I mean, she's in a lab coat. Right. I talk to action. My name is Ruth. I am really, really glad to meet you. Oh, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, you too. Um, though I sort of wish we weren't meeting. Not here, anyway. Great, Alex. Alex, what can you tell me about this place? 
Why are you here? Who did this? Oh boy. Well, some of that I think we can help with, but all we've got are questions too. Please? Yeah, can you walk? You can lean on me if you want to. But we should go. We have introductions to make. I'm detecting sapphic energy. Oh. Gay. Alex, you're fan. Hey, hey, yeah, this is Roof. Lean on me when you are forgot the rest of the song. <laughs> Hello. I've been practicing my various Russian voices because I've been playing uh papers please a lot. Oh my god. Sapphic polycule, perhaps. I just noticed it looks like every character model has like reddish hair. Oh yeah. They're all Irish. I kind of doubt that. Considering Ruth looks like she's a woman of color. I'm not going to say the other thing people think of red hair. Just because you said that, I don't think I should say it. What? Oh, you don't know. From where I am, usually... Yep, the bookworm got it. Bookworm got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, what? people think that. Why? <laughs> Thanks, bookworm. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> wow, this... Oh, man, this this child, they have a bit of red hair. They must be the devil. Oh, my gosh. Bullcorn clipped the pain sounds. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to be uh, posting those in the uh, quotes and things, if you will. Yeah, well. Like, after stream, obviously. But anyways. Yeah. I knew you could pull it off. Hello, Ruth. I'm Horace. Oh my god. I've been catching her up a bit, but it, it seems she was in the same situation as us. No memory of getting here, woke up trapped in a, a, surg a surgical suite. Only she was poisoned. That's... A pretty specific theme. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I am a doctor. ER surgeon specific. Or, well, I was. Was? Ah, well, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not like you're a cop, right? Not the right words. It's not like you're a cop, right? Lola. Not anymore. Ex. I got pushed out of the force because of corruption. I'm the only good apple, <laughs> and I'm a good apple because I left. Oh my god. Oh, well, I am an ex-doctor. The hospital board and I had a, uh, disagreement. Uh-oh. You know how many people I saw turned away? Bankrupted because they couldn't afford care. 
friend of mine didn't come in for help when they should have. And now they have gone. Both says they're not charity. Says we can't treat people free. Tell that to Cuba. <laughs> they say a lot of things with their leather chairs and expensive cars. I don't think that's true. So I started helping some people from home. Just, you know, first aid, stitches, the like. But the people kept needing more help, and those people told other people. A little kindness can grow like a wildfire. Oh, damn, street medic nice. Yeah. Eventually, I couldn't keep treating that many people out of my kitchen. Found myself some abandoned storage space. Bought some basics from some sympathetic folks, and voila, the little clinic the cool thing. All for free? You're damn right for Freya. Righteous, but illegal. Because Wait, the right. system of laws doesn't actually care about what is right and wrong. Wait, so it's actually legal in the United States to have free health care? Well, basically, the implications here, I believe, is that she would basically be requiring some amount of under the books uh, like under uh, the table shit going on uh okay to be able to treat people for free in america as the system is now you're basically going to have to be at the very least stealing medical supplies i was always ready for the was always ready for the cops to come knocking. But this, this is a whole new level of crazy. This is evil. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, it, is it like not bounce, like properly bouncing between them? I feel like this is a conversation, but it's just Torres talking. Yeah. Feels like it, doesn't it? I don't get it. This this basically makes you a hero. You helped people. Well, turns out you're harder to kill than anyone than anyone thought, at least. No. If you hadn't come along, I probably never would have woken up. Her door is just like the sound of her own voice. <laughs> I did give her this voice, so it's kind of accurate. Mm -hmm. You saved my life. Life. Oh. <laughs> you saved my life, Alex. Oh. Uh, um, it, it was nothing. But not... Saving your life, I mean, your your life is worth everything. I mean, I didn't, uh... It's, it's... Yay! <laughs> Shut up, that shit. <laughs> I can't be the only one sensing that, right? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you're both okay, but we still need to get out of here. We can save the awkward... We can save the orgy for later, or never. Oh my god, things here are wrong. I mean, more than the kidnapping and stuff. Book says, damn, these bitches gay. Good for them. <laughs> I keep thinking I see things, hear things. We're all under a lot of stress, Alex. 
We're all jumping at shadows. Speaking of which, where's where's Demon Boy? Don't worry about it. Besides that gas they tried to off me with, they might have drugged us to I don't think I was physically knocked. I think I felt it was more of a, I just saved your life and feel awkward about it. I don't have too much exposure for stuff. Yeah. To yeah. be fair, that's also an entirely reasonable justification. I just like gay. <laughs> that's where my brain at. I like gay. That's also another moment that should be animated. It's just like it used to say, I just like gay. And you're just rainbows surrounding you. <laughs> you could be yeah, maybe. I'm guessing we were dosed with something. It's probably still in our systems. Who knows? Maybe they want us seeing things that aren't there. Maybe it's more fun for them. Breaks. Yeah. Fuck yeah, we have LSD. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Know what? That that's that's another good prompt. Let me go look. Florida man LSD. Oh god. Hatchet. Okay, so we got the 11 year old. 11 year old? Yeah, remember I mentioned earlier Florida Man sold LSD to 11 year old? Oh, oh. I, I thought like 11 year old just somehow managed to get it on their own. <laughs> South Florida Man on LSD charged with tackling guard at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That uh, looks about it. Oh, it was specifically at Disney's Animal Kingdom. <laughs> nice. Okay. All the more reason to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, let's keep at it. <laughs> Elementary. Save Ruth. that there. Alright, we actually saved everyone so far. Wait, where is the demon fucker? Wait, seriously, where is the demon fucker? Is he sitting on oh. the corner? No, he was oh, just coated just... in darkness. <laughs> Why is he just... He's just sitting here motionless. Yeah. Staring at books. Yeah. Wait, statues. Bunch of old statues covered in drop cloths. Kind of creepy, but what else is new? Okay, that's obviously gonna be a puzzle at some point. Yeah. Okay, we did technically go through everywhere in here. I don't think so. We should still check everywhere up here. Because I think there was a door. Oh god, I lagged for What's a second oh yeah there's the peacock door back there yeah we can go through there we also got this room that just leaves back here <laughs> yeah that's just the place you came from yeah so the fuck was that candles the, yeah <laughs> Okay. Lock, not getting in there. So is... Can't you open that? Huh? Open the map. Room map. With this, I can keep track of the mansion. That's great! Oh yeah, but wasn't there a specific button there? Jesus. Oh. 
are all of the numbers real? Are all these numbers real? Hmm. Well, we didn't. Not real we can check upstairs. I wonder yeah. if there's a lion door upstairs. Maybe. Oh yeah, this room. <laughs> Gotta find where the fucking stairs are. There they are. Uh -oh. Nope, it's peacock room. Oh, we can go back. Oh, that's a lot more blood than it was before. I feel like that's I feel like that's the same amount of blood. Hmm. I honestly don't know where else to go. Wait, book examine. Is every page blank? Oh, we might have read this. I don't think we did. Oh. Yes. Are you sure? Let me just... Hey, there's a diagram. Looks like a box with a sad looking stick man in the middle. This could be important. I drew that. Oh. <laughs> And it's a neutral looking stick man, Freud. <laughs> Just casually insult her art skills. Bro. I see what you mean. This looks messy. Wait, how are you seeing it if you're way far away? <laughs> Wait a I minute. don't know. Right? A lifetime of survival instincts honed by scary movies says we should steer clear. Hmm. Well, eventually we might not have a choice. But for now, we should investigate everywhere else. Sounds good to me. Okay, so... That's oh, a bad... Jesus fucking what? Yeah. Leads to this room. I mean, you could have tried talking to them. True. We can. Wait, what the. Oh, wait. Hello. What is this? Book says make sure to check all the things. Okay, so. We see four. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. There. So that goes to there, and this goes to here. Oh, yeah, and we also got this that we never went through. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait. Is it like this and this on the keypad? So we got one area. We got another area right here. Because, oh wait, no, it's the three across, never mind. So, that goes to there. What are supposed to mean? Keep looking around for more of those. Oh wait, Tractor, it's working. But it's useless without any slides. Oh! The board! Weird looking board, but is it for a game of some sort? Maybe the pieces are around here somewhere. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we gotta look for pieces. They literally just checked these drawers. Shush. Book read. In certain cultures, crystals have more meaning than pretty babbles to decorate your home with. It was believed that many of the faces inside them could act as windows to other realms or even to the afterlife. 
One ritual involved building a doorway out of a crystal during the fall of the uh, fall equinox, in the belief that the shadow it cast was eventually a doorway to another world. Building such a structure is, of course, impractical at best, and it and it's unlikely that this ritual was ever really performed at a full scale. Which perhaps is a comfort given that if you open a door to somewhere, you never really know what might come through from the other side. Oh, here's another one. So that and that. Okay. So we got three of them. Did you check that uh, cupboard? Wardrobe? This? Yeah. Oh! A slide. And look, one more. That's on this. Okay. Alright, might as well just put the slide in. Haven't got any new slides to insert. Uh, we gotta find more slides. Oh! Here we go. One, two, four, and three. Oh, that tells us where we are. So that's obviously there. So this one's last. This one's third. So the first one's right there. And two's over there. So we got to figure out where these go. So this and this. So, Here, go look at the, go look at the keypad. Keypad? Yeah. It should probably open it up. Okay, so we got four things to enter. Okay. Yeah, so that's it up. Alright. So first, kind of looks like two and three. So, I guess the issue is, is like trying to figure out what these four boxes are intended to mean. Right. Try keep looking around for slides. You can't jump, can you? No. Alright. Huh, small plants all over. I guess life finds a way. Unless there's only supposed to be one slide. Never thought I'd see someone whose laundry habits are worse than mine. Uh. Also, I'm assuming this person is an alcoholic because of al all the wine bottles everywhere. Are those wine bottles? I think they are. Yeah. Half bottle left. Maybe liquor. I'll just know that's a terrible idea. I mean, it's liquor. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is not even better. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that looked like a shot glass next to it. So finally enough to walk through, I found only gave the, me the answer, not a way to solve the puzzle, so I can't really give you any small hints. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Maybe it's like adding the numbers together, like two and three. Well, fun. yeah, but... Hmm. Oh, maybe. We can try that um, first. Alright, so two and three is five. Yeah, let me get out my uh, notepad so we can write these down and then just put them all in at once. Okay. I've still got the, I've still got the uh, concentric ring bullshit here. Okay, so <laughs> assuming that's two and three. Yeah. So those two together are five. Okay, so second would be here. One so and three. Four. And I'll go over here. Three and four. Seven. And one and four. Five. Alright. So. so it's five, four, seven, five. Five, four, seven, five. No. <laughs> no. What a shot. 
Yeah. We need to figure out what those, like, what numbers those squares actually represent. I was thinking this for Maybe the pieces are around here somewhere. Also, the pieces right here. I thought, uh, no, those are glasses. Unless the pieces are in fucking here. That might be the case. Those are annoying. Wait, go up next to those uh shelves. Right here. So I can't flick anything on there. Except for the pile of clothes. Can you activate that mirror? Nope. Mm -hmm. This is odd. It says, like, they both go together, like, the both squares go together. Yeah. Try stepping out of the room and looking around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Got the peacock door there. And this will just take us back downstairs. Wait, go to the hallway? Get this room. Have you read these books? Probably. I mean, you could at least try to read. Nope, I tried subtraction. Didn't work. Nah. <laughs> this is odd. Wait. No, because you can't really tell. Never mind. I was going to say the amount of clothing. Yeah, I was thinking that earlier, and it's just, it doesn't seem like it would work. Can you open that drawer? No. Only other area with four is right here, but there's nothing in them. Yeah. This is difficult. But wait, have you looked thoroughly at the ceiling? Nothing up here. Wait, can you turn the projector off? I haven't got any new slides to insert. Nope. Oh, okay. Someone's hung a sheet on the wall. They were using it as a makeshift screen. Oh. Hmm. 
is really putting our heads together. Can I see the closet again? I want to see if it gives the answer. Uh, which closet? This one? That shows four, four, three, three. Four, four, three, three. Right there. And I highly doubt that's the answer. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of funny, though, because you and I are trying to figure this out the conventional way, and Bookmark seems to be trying to reverse engineer how to get the answer. Yeah. Try reading that book again. In certain cultures, crystals have more meaning than pretty baubles to decorate your home with. It was believed that many f uh, facets inside them could act as windows to other realms or even the afterlife. One ritual inv involved building a doorway at out of a crystal during the fall equinox. In the belief that the shadow it cast was actually a doorway to another world. Building such a structure is, of course, impractical at best, and it's unlikely that this ritual was ever really performed at a full scale. Which perhaps is a comfort given that if you could open a door to somewhere, you never really know what might come through from the other side. Notice there's four pages in that. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna write down the boxes. Okay. So go to the first one. First one will be this one. Okay, so. And then it's... Can you crouch down? No, I don't think so. Um... Okay, yeah, so that's still an arrow. And... Yeah, this one's okay, two. Yeah. Two? Okay. Two, three, four... That's... One to those two. Okay. Alright. And this is three. Yeah. Uh, let's see, so it's just those two. Okay. And that's four. Part of it looks like a smiling face. Let's see. Okay, so. Uh, I'm actually going to be right back. I have to use the restroom. Okay. I, I will let Bookworm hear you, but not me. So have fun. Alright. Okay. Alright. And then it was I and book one.
This might just be a little extra boring for you, book. Sorry about that. As we're trying to figure out this damn puzzle. Alright, I'm also still figuring out how they're trying to get you. Yeah. What I will ask, Bookworm, is does the answer consist of only one, two, three, and four? Like, are there more, are there higher numbers? Okay, that rolls out what I was doing here. Yeah, there are higher numbers. Okay. Yeah, there just has to be information missing. It has to be something we haven't like properly seen. You see, that's the thing. Bright looked outside, but didn't actually focus on the paintings. That's something I was kind of thinking about as well. So I guess we just have to wait on Bright to get back.
I've come to the conclusion that we are definitely missing information. What, what the fuck is that? Uh, wait. Did you... Oh my fucking god, Bright. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I am... I am going to hurt you. So severely. Open up your fucking inventory, please. Okay. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so we've got one, five, nine, two. So for our first thing, it turns into one, nine, or one, five, nine, two, one, nine, five, two. For the next one, it turns into five, nine, one, two. Next one, it turns into five, nine, two, one. Then it turns into one, nine, two, five. Try, try nineteen twenty-five. Book says yuck. I'm gonna. I. <laughs> I want. Uh, <laughs> what why did you not open and close that door? I don't know. Uh, what, what in the, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised that this place has secret rooms. It's like the least weird thing about it. You'd be surprised how common those are. Deal with a lot of secret passages and such as a detective, do you? Well, normally it's less elaborate. Panic rooms are still popular, for instance. Mm. There's actually a horror-themed one near me. But, cool. like... It's like, I believe, like, $600? For an easy, the easy one, and for the hard one, it's like eight fifty. Jesus. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm not gonna pay that much for an escape room that I'm just gonna be stuck in. <laughs> they must not get a lot of business. Yeah. <laughs> it took us so long, and it was on the door. Ah. <laughs> uh. I find it funny they didn't even put that on the walkthrough. You know, you know what? That's the thing. Okay. That's the thing. I feel like we had stumbled into this room before this. Yeah, I'm we pretty had. sure you I'm pretty sure you opened that door. <laughs> so previous you just covered up the evidence of the <laughs> stinking cipher we need to decode this shit. Yep. And then, when we actually come around to it, you don't think, hey, maybe I should, I don't know, try opening and shutting the fucking doors? <laughs> you didn't think of that. You thought of opening and closing drawers. You thought of doing it on the lower part. But you didn't think to open and close the doors on the top part. <laughs> oh, my it was probably super obvious for them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my throat. I can feel my blood pressure rising. <laughs> <laughs> but more often than not, it's, oh, say an old office or bedroom. They get boarded up and forgotten about before the... Place was sold. Ever find anything cool? Mm -hmm. I did once get called in by a school. They found an old room in their basement while renovating. Two bodies. Well, skeletons. Really, at that point. Both in chairs, opposite an old Standing mirror. Cracked right down the middle. 
You're kidding. I am not. They were so old, it was impossible to tell what happened. <laughs> the official record was that it was some sort of suicide path. Or I mean, unaliving. Given the symbols drawn on the floor around that. People have always been strange, Alex. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Take me, for instance. You don't need to look at you. Oh. <laughs> I'm salty. <laughs> That's still super creepy, though. Some real Bloody Mary stuff. What? Like, ghosts? It's never ghosts or monsters, Alex. It's always people. And t uh, well, I mean, animals kill people, so it's not always just people. Yeah, so correction, it's always animals. <laughs> well, actually, you gotta think about it. Plants can also kill people, too. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> it's all animals and or plants, Astrid. Yeah. Fungi included, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> always something. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes people the true monsters as a book. Yeah. <laughs> that or it's the fungus. The fungus is the true monsters. People do the worst, most terrifying things you can imagine. Oh yeah, speaking of a fungus, um Among Us? No. Uh but uh there's um there's this person and one person at work who found out about the zombie deer disease. Yeah. And is afraid that one day it's going to affect a human. Even though it's been proven that it's highly, extremely highly unlikely it'll, ha it'll ever happen anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, like, if it was to infect a human, it's highly unlikely that it could actually turn into a major pandemic. Yeah. Because, like, that's the thing. The thing with these sorts of diseases, like, we already have what could reasonably be called a zombie disease. Yeah. That does happen in humans. Isn't that, like, rabies or something like that? Yeah, rabies. Yeah. Which, by the way, again, if you ever look into the specifics of how rabies functions in the body, it's some unbelievably terrifying shit. Yeah. But, like... Just like rabies, the reason why the majority of these sorts of viruses or infections can become a pandemic level issue is because they either, uh, if I remember correctly, the main thing is just the fact that once someone becomes symptomatic, that's when they become infectious. And there's such yeah. a short window between someone becoming sim symptomatic and dying. So it's like, if, if a disease infects a being, and then it just basically immediately kills them, it's not going to spread as well as something that infects, stays in their system, and is trans, transcommunicable, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Uh, such as uh, the Roni. Mm -hmm. And then it kills them. Yeah. <laughs> Bookworm's uh, pun for uh, fungus. They, they can't be monsters. I heard they were all pretty fun guys. Uh, yes, Bookworm. Good job. <laughs> yep, Plank Inc. taught me that, lol. Well, yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. Uh, right? 
I, I, I hit E, so this is something new. It's, this is the exact same thing. It didn't change. Uh, I hit E, because it said all people are the worst. I hit E and, and it went to that. Oh. Oh, well. Whatever. Yeah. I can't tell if you're the scariest person I've ever met or the most boring. <laughs> 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 I get that a lot. Boxes. Sealed and covered. I am not digging through all these if I don't have to. Don't we have to find this? The. Oh. What? A chalk outline? An unfinished door, maybe? Oh, a slide. Looks like a bunch of numbers. Fancy. Can I actually push against it? No. Eh. Listen, Bright, I know that you don't have the best survival instincts, but it's not a very good idea to, the second you see something, rub your fucking face up against it. <laughs> Symbols and numbers, what could these be for? Oh. <laughs> that, that's new. Oh. Guess that answers my question. <laughs> okay, so one is that. Oh, you gotta fucking do fucking math. Six is I hate demon. Um, twelve is upside down woman. Okay, so specifically, six is demon lady. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for three, seven, and eight. Oh yeah, and uh, the one on top is uh, a guy with his penis out. Cause you see the legs are sticking out this way and his hands are up there and there's the dick. <laughs> that joke would have worked so much better if you didn't just immediately <laughs> explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm why getting do you kneecap, Why do you kneecap your own jokes? Shut up. <laughs> That's one big penis, this book. He's, he's fucking... <laughs> he's fucking handstanding, but cock standing. Yeah. He, he, oh, yeah. He, better not forget his master condom. Master Monster condom. Why did I say master condom? Uh, <laughs> the, condom of, the condom that's master to all condoms. That's what the master condom is. <laughs> and into this ring, he, or into this thing, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. Bryce. One condom to rule them all. Yeah. <laughs> Bright forgetting the joke we talked about earlier. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, you got these all written down? Oh, I haven't been writing them down. I didn't know you were wanting me to. Oh, it's because we got this over here. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay. okay. This is really weird. Okay, so it's just a slider thing. Yeah. Okay, so we need... I guess start by trying the... Um... The order of the... Symbols. Alright, so... Okay. Guy with his cock out. That's already set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so next to the demon lady. And then the next is the very bottom. No. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh wait, go here. Look back at it. Oh, that might actually yeah. be better. Oh, okay. This is easy. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, think about it. We got a grid. Of 
So even got oh I messed that up. That's eight. That's only eight. I need this many. Okay, so we've got one. Uh, look back at the other thing. Okay, so yes, there's one, two, three. Okay, so basically, uh, um, it's a number pad, but in rows. So the first row is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh. Look back around. Uh, 3, 7, 10. So turn back around. So move. Stop. Stop. Right, we yeah. have it. Oh, it's just ah. Uh, look at the first row. Mm -hmm. Or column. Three, right there. That no. Ah. <sighs> right. Yes. Look at the thing behind. Mm-hmm. If one is the the cock guy and yeah. six is the demon, I look back. That means that this is not a conventional number thing because if it was like that, it would be five is the demon. So how do you rectify this issue? Oh, columns. So it's three. Seven. Okay, so one, two, so three, four, five, click it down six, once. Seven. Yeah. And then click it down once. Yeah. Statues. Uh, what we've got here another projector slide. And some weird looking statues. What are these for? Oh, it's this. Yeah, I mixed up what I mixed up what columns and rows are. We just got the door. That's your picture of the door. It's, what am I supposed to do now? Oh. oh. We gotta move it so I guess it's like covering the door. I'm guessing, yeah. Well, this isn't hard. Famous last words. Okay, hold on. There you go. Yeah! I, I, I'm good at these puzzles. <laughs> What's with this shape? It it kind of looks like a door. <laughs> Are you <laughs> Oh my god, I hate the player character. <laughs> what was that? Hello, someone there? Huh. I could have sworn I heard... Holy f... The lights. Come on, come on. Stupid flashlight. Why are you dead now? Okay, okay. Deep breaths. It's fine. It's fine. Just find the door. I can't find the door. <laughs> There's nothing on the wall. What? Right. Or book, please. No, there's no need to start singing All-Star. <laughs> I... I just can't believe it, officer. Are you sure it's her? H who? No, no. My little girl. My little Alex. Is that... Grandma? Oh, it's an old lady. I can't believe she's gone. I... The body was so... Are you sure? No, Gran. I, I, I'm i here. I'm right here. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I don't know, girl. I'm sweet little girl. 
But I shouldn't have expected it. She was always sticking her nose in where it didn't belong. Book says, or are you? Maybe this is the afterlife. This is a real shit afterlife. This is what this is what God does with <laughs> with us. It's like, oh, you died? Okay, let's just just put you in the mansion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is fine. Have fun with the mustard gas. <laughs> Hope you don't die a second time. Yeah, it, you just get put in a whole different mansion if you die a second time. <laughs> yeah, you just wake up in a different mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I just told her one of these days someone was going to cut it off. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? The door. I swear it wasn't here a second ago. And where did that one come <laughs> from? I, I I must be seeing things. Book says, okay, Grandma, time to get you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh... We're in a planetarium. There's a planetarium inside this mansion. <laughs> What's going on? First my flashlight dies, and then a secret door opens to... Hedger, are you saying anything? No. Oh, you're, you're, you're on Discord. The thing was staying green for a long while. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not saying anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. What is this? A planetarium? Are you kidding me? Taurus has got to hear about this. You will not believe what I found. <laughs> you know I'll believe anything. You know that's not true. No, I I mean it really it's it's just You okay, Alex? You sound rattled. Did something happen? No, no, it's it's fine. I'm fine. Nothing happened. Look, I I found my way into what it looks like a planetarium. Okay, you got me. That's actually a little surprising, even for this place. There has to be some sort of trick to it. Unless it's playing some sort of laser rock show, I'm missing out on. I always found those kind of boring. I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know what that is. It's where they play a uh, flash a bunch of lights and top the stars and play music uh, music oh yeah <laughs> it's not very oh. entertaining <laughs> okay this person is super rich because they're god <laughs> heh i wish it's a pretty empty looking room i'll give it a, a once over shouldn't be should long do, should be should do more than a once over alex Sitting you're being controlled by an absolute dumbass. Famous last words. Don't even joke about that. What? Sorry. Are you sure you're... Fine. I'm fine. I'll call you if I find anything. Oh yeah, plus we had found that body that looked like her. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we got this. Mm. So, should we... Oh, there's more. We should probably find everything first. Because it seems like there's multiple... No, have I been in a room yet that doesn't have enough drink to throw up? 
Wait, wouldn't it be drinks instead of drink to throw a party? Well, in this case, it's like drink can just generally refer to alcohol. Uh, it's like enough drink. There. Binder. Oh, God, the binder. <laughs> no. Look at the corners as it's spinning. Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. to a trans mask. Lockbox exam. A lockbox with no clear way to open it. Registry. <laughs> a note. I think we've pretty much picked them all up. Okay, so check in your inventory. We've Soul got a binder. And a whole bunch of pieces of paper. Someone's drawing a diagram taking notes. Oh, there's a crew drawing of a unicorn on the back. Can you drag these papers into the binder? Maybe. Empty ring binder for notes. No, I cannot move them. But anyways. So on the back of this, there's just a crude drawing of a unicorn. <laughs> it looks angry. <laughs> yeah. Right. Looks like a back and forth between two people. The first is written in red ink. John, please be more careful. There's no 24th month. The, what? I, I, I don't think we only have 12 months. Where do you get 24? <laughs> Yes, continue. Yeah. The second in blue, Jeffrey, I tell you this, is this every single time. It's day and month, not month day. You're always getting the dates wrong. <laughs> yeah, this, so, Bright, what's, what's happening here is a dumbass American doesn't know how the metric system runs dates. Ah. Uh. Oh, a note written in blue ink. Taurus 37, Karina 15 6, uh, Cetus 12 and 7, Orion 24th and 11th. So this is probably important right here. Could you guess? Anyways. Oh. Oh, same thoughts written down. Oh, wait. A note written in green ink. Lyra 23-2, Aquilia 6-5, Hydra 12 and 4, Cetus 10 and 9, Serpents 15 and uh, 15 and 3. Same thoughts written down on the back. Whoever this was, they were frustrated. Jonathan is pig-headed. If we could only meet in the middle, I'm sure we would find the answer. It's a book labeled Registry. Observation Committee. Oh, it's telling me the orders. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Barker, James Patrick, Jason Pollan, Jeffrey. Not even going to try and say the last name. Jacob P. No, whoever thought it would be fun for everyone to have the same initials is a moron. Oh, yeah, they're all JP. <laughs> Why? Why does James Patrick and Jacob P have the same color? I don't know. Note written red ink. Capricorn 7-Eleven. Lupus. Oh! It's probably just blue, green, red. That's why we don't see yellow. Or you haven't picked up all the notes. One of the two. Yeah. Upward at the diagram thing. I'm taking some notes. And there's a that. They don't believe me, but I think I figured it out. This is it. So Oh, there's the symbols of the um Fuck, I forgot what we're actually looking at. <laughs> Like what Capricorn and all that stuff is. I can't. 
Astrology. Astrology, yeah, very good. The Zodiac, thank Zodiac. you. Zodiac, yeah. Alright, you need to keep staring at it, or... Oh no, I thought you were gonna move on. Oh. Change date. Oh, we can change the date with this. How does we do this? Nothing. Oh... That's what we gotta do. Oh, wait. Right here. That's what the, this is. Okay. So that, so the A and dash needs to line up with the demon. The me needs to line up 9 and 10. Alright. Alright. demon over here. Okay, so the demon's lining up there. Is that correct? I can't tell where the me is. The me is lined up with 10 and 9. But now what? So we got that correctly lined up. Because I can see me right there. 9 and 10 is right there. Assuming that random no is correct. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, we also got this. And the spike bar is covered in constellation and notes. Eagle, wolf, unicorn, and whale are circled. They have been labeled to Aquilia, Lupus, Monoceros, and Cetus. This looks important. I better make a note. Oh my god. We didn't even take the note from here. <laughs> you say we as if anyone's to blame for that but you. Okay. Okay, so... Maybe we have to find specific papers, because remember this one has a unicorn on the back? Yeah. And then we've got to have four papers. Okay, th yeah, this is... I think we've got this. Um, oh, open that back up. Oh, open that back up? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Aquila... Lupus... Oh yeah, I found out, uh, I'm not sure if I told you this, Hatchet, but I found out how uh, you can add stories, you know, like how you can you see from Instagram, you can do that on the Twitch mobile app now. Okay. I'm kind of not paying attention to that. Fair. I just added a picture of Busta sleeping on top of me. And wrote, they won't let me stream. <laughs> okay. So I got that order. Now, uh, 
Look at the ledger thing. Oh, like these notes? No, like the, the, the book. Oh, this. Oh. Okay. So, observation commands, we've got them in an order. Blue. Green. Red. Okay, so now we look back at the four images. No, I mean like the, the slips of paper. Okay, so not that one. We look at that plenty. Yeah. Oh, written in the way in. Uh, that's got Cetus. Okay, blue has Cetus. Cetus. Twelve seven. Okay. And this one also has Cetus. Right. Well, so is Aquilia. Do we need that? Yeah, we also need Aquilia. Wait, was Aquilia on the other one? Back. No. Yeah, okay, so there's only Cetus there. Okay, so... I should really be doing these on the lines of this character, but whatever. <laughs> Making my own damn lines. Who needs rules? Okay, so... Aquila... Six... Five... Nine... Nine... Okay, now under the red one. And Cetus is unobserved. <laughs> Odd. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
god, my head hurts. Don't die. You're not allowed. Okay, so go back into the world. The, uh, into this? Yeah. And it's just... Probably turn all... Oh, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Turn all those off. Oh, those... You had turned them off. Now they're turned on. And, like, look all the way up. It doesn't look like I see them. There's no unicorn on here right now. Right. Even though the unicorn guy said that it's unicorn. Which means the guy was wrong. Or a red herring, who knows? I don't fucking know. I'm not drinking enough. Well, just like, like, fiddle around with the thing so we can see what happens when you do things. Well, we could put in one of the dates. Yeah, okay, so then let's just put in. The first seat is, which is 12-7. 12-7, okay. Oops. What the? And... Do you see it? I see the whale. And I can't tell Where's that's the unicorn. Oh, that's the unicorn? Oh, I couldn't tell. Not the unicorn. The unicorn's next oh. to that. Oh, right. Right there. Gods. Ah. Oh. Well, we also got the whale that time. So it's On probably one, one of these I states. think that's the bird. Oh, that, that bird right there? I think that's the bird. Okay. Okay, now see what happens if you turn... Some of these like light projectors are this button toggle. Just like this. You could be what I said if you turn some of what like turn ah. Okay, uh the south is off and I don't see anything different. Okay. And then turn off west. Still don't really see anything different. Okay. North. I'm not seeing anything different. Okay. East. Yeah, I, I think. Hmm? Try turning all but one off. Everything but the south is off. Yeah, so it's definitely moving. Ever so slightly. So this is like... I think the north, east, south, and west are basically like the different... Like, correlated to different sections of the earth. And what would be in the night sky for those areas. Ah. Did it say in the paper where? Oh, okay. wait, look, there's more oh, directions wait, in the back. Capricorn is north, Lupus east, Sagittarius east, 
see this inconclusive. I am confused. I'm glad I'm not playing this alone. More observation. But what's the observation supposed to be? Look on the chalkboard. Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay, so let's try this. Click out of there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So position yourself so that you're at the south. South. All right. I'm at south right, right now. There. Okay. So now change the date to three. To what day? Three eight. There's our doggo. Yep, there's yeah. the doggo. Oh wait, no. Okay, so switch the projectors so that uh, east is turned on. Or this is entertaining the bookworm. Just remembered I have a folder here. Book says kinda. Every flicker. And you took the back of all of the notes. Yep. What's wrong? Even the green one. Jonathan's pig head, if we can only meet in the middle, I'm sure we'll find the answer. John, please be more careful. There's no 24th month. And then it's, I'll tell you this every single time. It's day month, not month day. You're always getting the dates wrong. I'll go back to the green one. Hmm? What? Sorry. Right? Yeah. Alright, okay, go back to the green one. Green one, okay. Okay, what the... Okay. 
Okay, flip it again. All right. Okay, so Jonathan, check with the names. Check with the what now? The register. Ah, oh, the register. Okay, so blue is Jonathan. Okay, now check the blue. Check the blue. Okay, so blue and green being Jonathan and the person who was annoyed with Jonathan are uh, 12, 7 for Cetus, and green is 10, 9 for Cetus. Yeah. And they said we need to try to meet in the middle. So okay. the question is, what is the middle there? Try putting in 11-8. Eleven 11-8? Eight. Eleven eight? Yeah. Oh! Oh! A whale design popped up there. Oh, that's good. Right, check it that. shows the whale there. Oh, I guess it, it's because it's in the middle. Gotta get to the center. Okay, so then... Yeah. What that means is... So, see, this is 100% 11-8. And I'm guessing we're going to have to put these in order. Mm-hmm. So, I'll put in 6-5. Put in 6-5? Yeah. Oh, we got the bird in the middle. Uh, put in three eight. Oh, it says three eight. Uh, uh, nothing in the middle. Nothing. Wait, so then that means that red is off. Uh, it's, it's kind of look like the serpent and the dog are kind of in the middle of it. So maybe you're yeah, off by a be, day. Yeah, it's supposed to be lupus, and it says uh, lupus east. So try turning off everything except for the east. No, it still doesn't show anything. That's the... That's east. Okay. East. Hmm. We might be off by a day. Yeah, because now it's getting a bit closer to the center. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, just incrementally go down by the days. Check, check the things to see whether or not it's saying. No, it's right there. Okay, it feels like it, it's going further away, so increase the date. 
nine. Try that. It went farther away. Maybe it's the month. Yeah, the yeah, you were changing the month, damn it. Oh. I didn't realize that's what I was doing. <laughs> oh, we've gone over this. Can't tell it might be getting a bit cozy. Now it's getting farther away. So. Oh, that got real close. Okay, so then try the first first of the eighth. Still doesn't show up. Here, try turning back on all the projectors. And then try inputting it again. 3-8. Yeah, 3-8. Nope. <laughs> Bookworm says, Bright is a dumb American. To be fair, I am too. Thank <laughs> This is hard. Okay, here. Let's let's take a break from trying to mess with wool. Here, here. Let me let me make a new thing. Give me a sec. How is that not in close to the middle? Bird was... We had checked bird, right? That was six five. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to unicorn for the moment. Oh, wait, keep going, says book. Am I close to it or something? That's months again. Oh, well. Other way. Well, Bogram told me other way. I think I went too far. I think I actually clicked that. Well, that's getting really close. Okay, try going back. No, no, I said like further down on day. No, the days, days. Further down. That's three. Okay, let's let's just. Move on to trying to figure out unicorn. Okay. So put in twenty seven eight. Not in the middle. Actually, I don't even see the unicorn. It's not even showing up. Okay, look back at... Yeah, the unicorn's not even on here. Uh, open that thing again. That was for the unicorn. Oh. Yeah, like the thing in your inventory. Okay, so it's saying it needs to be the perfect in-between, between those two. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, open the thing back up. Okay. Okay, start by uh Okay, turn eight to seven. Okay. Okay, that's what we have to do. Now, uh, um, change 27 downward. Again. Try that. There we go. Yeah, unicorn's in the middle. Open it back up. That is 25, 7. Oh, yeah, because he said there's no such thing as 27th month. Remember? Or. What are you bringing up? Just hold on. A tab. It was somewhere. Oh, no, 24th month. Never mind. I thought I said 27th month. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It was set in the corner. So now we just need the wolf. Unless it actually is this combination where the this is like this and we just gotta keep going down with it till we get everything in the middle. Okay, so here, open up the notes again. Notes? Yeah. Alright. Which one? Come to think of it, we haven't been doing anything with the binder. Look at the binder again. It's a ring Search binder unicorn. for notes. And, oh! Unicorn North, Whale S. Mmm. So that tells us where it needs to be. Wait, can I wonder? Oh, no, there's nothing on the registry. Maybe we should search to see if there's another binder somewhere. I feel like you pretty thoroughly looked through this for me. Yeah. What we don't know is which one's east and west. So we need to get keep the unicorn north. Right here. We need to keep the unicorn at north. Okay, okay try toggling that. No, like toggle the the Oh, we can lock. Oh, does that say like locked in place? Yeah, it says lock. So, unicorn is north. Right. Lupus is east. So, we just gotta figure out. Well, we got the whale in the middle, remember? You figured that one out. Well, yeah. So, we can get the whale for south. Yeah, so whale is uh, eleven eight. Lock. And check the top to make sure. Yep, it sure <laughs> still says unicorn. Okay, so we got whale and unicorn, so we need bird. And wolf is east, so bird has to be west. Right. So bird is 6-5. It says, uh, West. Lock. Now we just gotta figure out what the fuck the wolf's date is. Okay, look at the red note again. The red. Oh, God damn! I keep hitting the wrong button. Wait a minute! Oh my gods! That's how they fucked with us. 
What? Put an eight three. Eight three. Oh, because that's red is the red is the fucking American, so he's pro. Yeah, red is. Yep. That's <laughs> American. God damn American. That did it. The lockbox opened up. Oh, now we got the bird key. Fucking breeding units fucking us up. Got it open. Hey, the planetarium is down. Found a key with a bird on it. I think it's a peacock. <laughs> what? Oh, no, that's just the way you said that. That would sound funny. What, peacock? I think it's a peacock. I think it's a peacock. <laughs> it's a peacock. All right. And we just so happen to know what door that opened. Fuck you, bookworm. Hm. I got the sense of a bee <laughs> rip. <laughs> oh man. It's a woman penis. I mean, yeah, come to think of it, the penis, when it develops, the clit basically just turns into the head of the penis. So if we do it the reverse, maybe the clit is the peacock. <laughs> because it's the head of what would become the penis's head. We do? We passed a door with a peacock on it when we were looking for a way out. Oh, yeah. It'll be on my right when I get back to the main hall. That's the one. We should check it out. Got are it. We almost, are we almost done with this game? Uh, possibly. I have no idea. But I know there's like multiple endings to this. Obviously, we just let everyone die. <laughs> it's a different ending. Yeah, we gotta try to get all the endings. We need to just kill everyone. Yeah. Wait, how would you kill the guy in the demon air? Oh, probably getting it wrong. Yeah, get it wrong. Oh, book says there's so much left. Is that sarcasm? Or is there actually a lot left? I can't remember where the peacock door is. Okay, go to the main hall. Stand here. Look at map. <laughs> map doesn't say the, the fucking peacock door. Okay, go up the stairs. Oh, that's wrong way. Wrong direction. Ugh. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm, I'm I'm like Zoro from One Piece. I'm terrible with directions. Oh, here it is. Another door down. Oh. Locked in. Wait, what's that? <laughs> he just has a fucking <laughs> ship steering wheel on his neck. William. What does William sound like? Uh, French. <laughs> I'm not good at French, but let's do this. <laughs> oh, I don't understand it, they'll go. One hour later. I think there's like nine more rooms. Jesus Christ. Yay! You're trapped here now. So might as well make it yourself a conqueror. Um, thank you? Are you really just sitting here? Are you okay? I was. No, we'll <laughs> no break kill the sky or not. Maybe. Oh shit, we haven't saved in a while. Well. At least we know all the answers. Yeah. 
Have you been here the whole time? Couldn't you hear us downstairs? Okay. Sorry, give me a sec. I'm, I'm double like writing down the answer just in case we end up having to go back to it. made yourself known. It was positively peaceful until then. Uh, peaceful of some sort of giant metal death device around your neck. That is a ship's steering wheel. <laughs> it's obviously a death device. I mean, I assume that's what it is. Oh, but it's okay. Let me... No, thank you. In fact, I'd prefer if you left. Maybe you could jump down. Well, fuck you! Uh, this guy's a real dickhead. Now we'll break. <laughs> nah. That loads leaves a question. Will I kill this pompous ass? Excuse me? I require no assistance. Wait. <laughs> I can also say it in French, Italian, and Spanish if that would thrill it. I am. Do please leave me alone. Hey, listen, buddy. No, no, it's a stressful situation for everyone. Deep breaths, Alex. I'm moving past it. I'm moving past it. Alex, is that you up there? Are you talking to someone? Yeah, some guy. Extremely rude. He says he doesn't want any help and wants me to leave him alone. And I want a cup of coffee and a pepperoni pizza. We're all suffering. <laughs> Bring him down here. That... Might take a second. The door locked behind me. And he's got a scary metal contraption around his neck. In keeping with the theme of the night, I assume it's lethal. That or a terrible fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. Well, I don't care if he wants you to leave him alone. We can't afford privacy in here. He's got to tell us anything he knows. Hey, at least you can do, t do is tell me who you are. If I must, I am William Jones the third. You've heard of me? Um, no, but, uh... I'm Alex. Alex Young. The first. <laughs> so, William. You've got a death machine attached to you? Yes. I woke up with this cumbersome thing on. Then tell... When people tell me I have a tendency for trauma. Well, so far, every room has some sort of trick to it. A, uh, a puzzle? If we can solve the puzzle, you'll be safe. Probably. <laughs> I see. So far, I have a really good track record. <laughs> Ignore the times where I murdered a th person three times. <laughs> 
Play a game. I'm trying to like I'm not very good at my French accent. I mean, I have to put that inflection on everything, and I love it in a frog. I just need to figure out what the puzzle is and. I'll stop you right there, young lady. You just have the power of time on your side. I'll stop you right there, young lady. No, thank you. A frog. I, what? Look, you don't need to be scared. I, I won't let anything happen to you. We work together, we can figure this out, I promise. Yes, yes, very touching. My heart is sufficiently warm. However, togetherness and friendship isn't going to get us out of here. We literally cannot all leave this place alive. What? What? How do you... Oh, I know. I didn't think they'd actually go through with it, but why am I surprised? So this guy actually knows what the fuck's going on. Yeah. What can you expect from a group willing to call themselves the Tartarus Society? Pretentious arses. I must have been drunk when I agreed to join. I even know your precious puzzle. They left me a note after all. But I'm not interested in dancing around for their amusement. All I need to do is wait until morning. The rest of you can sort yourselves out. Excuse me, did you say you know who put you here? What was in the note, and what do you mean about mourning? Book says, wait, what if this is all just an initiation into the Tartarus Society? Mm. Possibly. Oh, do please stop flailing the ground. Wrong. Oh, that's the goal. If you must know, the note said to drink my favorite cocktail and relax. Be sure and mix it just right. Oh shit, we should have had Jay here. Uh. <laughs> you only deserve the best after all. And if you make a mistake, that no accessory you're wearing will top you all. With one final explosive ingredient. Oh, so if he dies, I'm probably gonna die. He's got a. Well, I mean, I doubt that, as long as you're not right next to him, maybe. Well, slew them in their fancy bloody job. When I get out of here, I'm going to sue them into the bloody grave. Wow, I'm already less like, uh, not like him even more. I, I really don't like him. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? I don't know, I just don't like him. Like, of all the things, the most reasonable and good thing he said thus far is that he's going to sue this society that's doing this. And that's when you say, oh, I hate him even more. <laughs> no one's allowed to sue. <laughs> mm. Wait, wait, wait. A cocktail? That's it? I can do that. I was a, bar a bartender for a while. Wait, no one's allowed to sue anymore? Yes. So no one's allowed to sue anymore. Yes. Okay. 
I would like to make it publicly known that the great Dr. Bright is a very large bird lady. Uh, go fuck yourself. And she has no recourse against my saying this. Except for murder. <laughs> As if you could find me. <laughs> and you underestimate the power of my farts. You underestimate the power of my guts. <laughs> you underestimate the power of my Kevlar infused fat cells. <laughs> That was actually a joke I told at one point in my school career. Suing is illegal, but apparently murder is legal now. <laughs> um, in, in school at one point, I made the joke to everyone that, uh, mm -hmm. because I'm so large, I decided to surgically implant a Kevlar vest into my skin. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh, we, we're about to see classism. Of course you were. Well, if you insist on going through with this charade, you can count me out. Well, I mean, we kind of need to know what your cocktail is. Do whatever you please. You might have noticed, we don't even have electricity to run the bar appliances. So unless you are also an electrician in that colorful, oh so quirky past of yours, do please leave me be. Oh, God, I want a string bomb. <laughs> now you also want him dead. <laughs> and so all we have to do now yeah. is makes a whole bunch of random shit together and kill him. <laughs> Problem solved. I might not be an electrician, but every room I've encountered so far has had a solution. Even if it's not obvious, I'm sure I can figure this out. Watch it be like Among Us Flyers. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Look, just do whatever you want, alright? It doesn't matter. Just leave me alone. Well, fuck you too, bitch. Okay. I just probably have to look around. Oh god, lag. Okay, so we got music playing. Well, this is fancy. A bunch of rich old guys knocking it back at a bar of some sort. Wait, is that William? And what's that on the floor behind everyone? I thought this place looked familiar. My word, they recreated the whole bar. A year back, I hit some milestone, a net worth of several bi of bi several billion. He's a billionaire. Yeah. The world would be better without him. Yep. I'm worth more now, of course. Past a certain point, it's hard to keep track. Sure, totally get it. Regardless, my friends and I got together to celebrate my business salary. Huh. We drank the place dry. Every show. Too bad you didn't die of liquor poisoning. Yeah. We even slummed it and had a pint of beer. 
imagine. How could you not notice they modeled this place after that bar? To be fair, I was quite drunk. Memories of that night are uh, foggy. Besides, why would I ever expect to see a bar from the middle of London? One I had only been to once, replicated. Uh, and now I'm remembering. That's the night I had that argument with Haringworth. Looks like he got the last word in after all. Nasty old goat. Well, that looks like a keypad right there. Yeah. But something's off. Is that rug all crumpled up? Move. Oh, hey, it's just like the painting. Art saves the day. Oh, it's one of these. Ooh, I love wires. Hmm. Oh, well, technically they're connected. It's technically connected to that. Okay. And we just gotta. Hmm. It's a lot harder to hit. <laughs> it was at first. Because it goes right here. Oh, wait. This. This isn't even technically connected. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Uh, okay. Right there. Or. Hmm. Oh, yeah, technically connected there. This is hard. A lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, wait. Turn turn the bottom thing so that those two wires are headed straight out. Like that? Yeah. One side's good. Both sides, I not mean to do that. Ah. I fucked it up. I don't know what I did. Okay, there we go. This one side's good. Oh, we got three now. Wait, those aren't even connecting. See that, right? It says all three green. Those aren't connecting. Yeah. So it has to be something else about it. Here, flip that back so that it's in the green. All of it's in green. Try flipping the center. All of those get turned off. Oh, all of those get turned off like that. And they're all back in green again. Here, look on the other side. 
No, I mean, like, walk to the other side. Like this. That looks better. Okay, so keeping it like that. Kept it all. Green. Hmm. Okay, try try turning that one you're looking at. Change it all. Nope. Well, damn, I figured it out <laughs> somehow. Did you see that? Almost took off my hand. William? Sure. Well, that maze throw out of the dark ages and into the age of electricity again. Okay, that puzzle wasn't that hard. I just brute forced it. Yeah. Good job, I suppose. Though, I keep telling you it's pointless. You know, for someone who wanted me to leave him alone, you sure are following me around a lot. Look, if you're going through with this, can you blame me for supervising? You're playing with my life, young lady. Yes. Well, thanks to your supervision, the power's back. You'll have your drink and be out of that device in no time. Hmm. Confident, are we? You remind me a little of myself when I was younger. Just don't get too cocky. In my experience, that's exactly when the universe decides to turn on And peg you in the ass. Mm hmm Well, I find to keep being a problem for it until it stops being a coward and kills me. Jesus! <laughs> Next stop, drinks Phil. Oh, no. Oh, wait. What's this? Pick up? What, what is this? Oh, there's two drinks. Recipe cards? They must have slipped off the counter. They're covered in notes. Useful, I hope. Okay, far away. No, good for when you got a meeting later in the day. Refreshing, but not too strong. No, make sure that the customer is not allergic to pineapple before adding. Yes, I'm talking to you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> There's a coral of equivalent flavor of liquor is a perfect substitute. Okay. Uh, if anyone asks for gum shoe, all you have to do is swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey and make sure the drink is served piping hot. But the thing is, we don't know which one. There's also a keypad. Anything else around here? Or I'll stay. Like, maybe talk to him. Yeah. Okay. You don't know the name of your cocktail or what goes in it. How about the key code for drinks cabinet? Any ideas? I thought you were my knight in shining armor in this scenario. Why are you asking me to think for you? Yeah, I want him dead. Dude. Literally, no one in the room would have any idea what your favorite drink is, except for you. 
I hit the enter key and apparently something flashed. You're flashing him. Good job. <laughs> now be 50 bucks, sir. <laughs> wow, sorry for trying to save your life. It's been a long night. I just want this all to be over. So he has no fucking clue. Oh, it's looking down in the main area. There's all statues. Alright, so the answer's gotta be in those cards. Oh, two one two one one. What's that? One 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 one. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Wait, no. If anyone is asked for a gum shoe, all you have to do is swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey and make sure to drink is piping hot. Do I actually have to make these drinks? I don't know. Okay, open it back up. Okay. One job. Okay, turn back over. Do you remember which oh. side? No, like, turn the card over. Yeah. Do you remember which side these were on when you first got them? Uh, I believe it was... F it was just front. Uh, or this. It might have been this. Lazy morning. The flower power. We're on the front. Yeah, so that one's the... That one's in the right position. Know oh, that. Look at the other one. God, God damn it, I hit the fucking button to get out. Yeah. Okay, flip back over. Yeah, okay, this is this is correct. This is how they were. Okay, okay look back at the other one. No. Like at the other card. Okay. Okay. So we've got. Uh, so this has got three. Flip this over. We've got four. Okay, look at the next card. Oh, God damn it. Three. Two. So try three, four, three, two. Three, four, three, two. No. Five, four, three, two, three. Five, four. No, what? What? I said. I said four, three, two, three. Four, three, two, three. No. Mm. Maybe it's totally. Open the cards back up. Okay, so that is four ingredients. Flip over. Those four ingredients. Okay, next one. Uh, flip over. That's three and three ingredients. So try four, four, three, three. No. Uh, 
I think I'm barking at the wrong tree. Yeah. Um, I guess get out of the number pad. Oh my. Wait, glass. The glass cover is a grid etched into the surface. It means something but what? <coughs> I don't know. I tried moving, but I can't do anything. Oh, it's an arrow. An arrow in this direction. Or smart peak emblem is locked tight. Oh. Or at this. Is anything different over here? No. Or. I don't see any, like, making of numbers. Yeah. So it does have the right num- like, the right number of sections to be a number pad. Yeah. Let me just draw this. There's that weird triangle in the middle, though. Once again, yeah. we are trying to solve a number lock. <laughs> the triangle has to mean something. I think it's just like pointing in the direction that you read it from. Like pointing up, like this part is the top. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I know the perfect game to uh, the stream after this, Hatchet. What? Remember? The. the Oh, I forgot the name of it. Like, it was the coffin of whatever comes out the, the, the day after the 12th, which was oh, last yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Andy and Lele. Yep, it's out. It's only $9, actually. Cool. I love emotional incest. Book says I don't think it's this puzzle. I think it was only good to get the lights back off. Really? We're probably barking up the wrong tree focusing on this thing. Yeah. Do you love emotional incest or emotional blackmail? Yes. Just press escape. Oh 
yeah, I forgot. Like, the continuation of that series, that, uh, that game we were waiting for also released. Do you know how little that narrows it down? You know, the one where emotional blackmail came from? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that latest ep episode is released, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what this is, and my head is killing me. Yeah, I'm kind of also thinking of just thought what's here for right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not seeing anything that would tell us any useful information, except for these cards, and I'm confused. Did you see that, uh, that book on the... Yeah, I can't back. interact with it. I've no, 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 there's a other... No, there's a table. Forward. There. This book William is, was reading, it looks like a journal. Oh, wow, it's scathing. The, these were his friends? Jeez, I kind of feel sorry for him. I'd probably be a little cranky, too. Even if he is a... What does this say? Wow, that's... That is some creative profanity. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Mm. Oh wait. Whoops. I actually. <laughs> so now we have these. Hmm. That we'll save for next time. Yeah. See, how long have we played this? For seven hours we've played... Uh, seven hours and 30 minutes we've played this. <laughs> Last words go. Almost a full work day. <laughs> Fuck. Doing nothing but hurting my throat with these voices and trying to solve puzzles. Yep. A not insignificant number of said puzzles having been uh, immediately solved by Bright just doing something obvious that she hadn't done for fucking 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> kind of like that note on the door. Yes, what do you think I was referencing? <laughs> or how I was like fucking around with the lights and just got immediately fixed in like two <laughs> moves. Um. Now we wait for the book. They're probably gonna do, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so. I wonder what yeah. they would do. I'm gonna look at Tangia to see what they added. Oh, I've got ads. Great. Oh, no. My sub is run out. <laughs> There's a, a thing that's. That's called Gliz Glizzy Twirl, which is just a, a twirl like Glizzy on stream. I'm keeping that one. Mm. I'm get rid of what's up. Hey, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow my friend Bright. If you like my Magnus Dong in a monster oh, condom, also give Bright money if you can. And me, Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> At first, Danny DeVito said like they were in a ro robot suit. Yeah, I noticed that. What the... What happened to him? I don't know. Danny fixed himself, yeah. Alright, Hatchet, last words, go. And remember, kids, when you're outside and you smell the gogs, the gogs are also coming for you. They're made out of cheese. Run from the gogs. They smell like beans, but cheese is the cheese inside the gogs' knees. Run from the gogs. Oh. I invented a new word for that one. Anyways, uh, Danger Rules, I hope you enjoyed. And oh, what, you don't want to raid anyone? I don't think there is anyone to raid. I don't think. It's Alefix. Oh, they are. Miss Lacuna. It also says birthday thon day two animal of the week from the person with Japanese characters. Oh, true. Oh god damn it! I. Oh, it says day two over. Oh, when no. I went over to them, so I think they're ending stream. <laughs> oh no. So. I guess go second choice with the fix. Okay. Uh, the raid words will be. There's our raid raid words. Oh my. We will provide absolutely no context. Context is for quitters. What did you just send me? Don't worry about it. You ready, book? Three, two, one. Oh god. Peter Lack for a moment. <laughs>